Velvet has been a big deal for a while now, but we can feel the winds of change blowing. If you scroll through a Pinterest board, if you open a magazine, you're seeing more and more book lays. And this battle is a battle we've been watching very closely for the top with product in hand. In this episode, we'll be unpacking the integral, integral part that texture plays in putting a beautiful scheme together. As we all know, there really isn't only one answer to a design decision. So let's chat about that. So velvet has been a big deal for a while now, but I think on the back of the velvet trend comes the texture trend, and more specifically, the book lay texture trend. Um, I'm super excited about it. I think it is a phenomenal trend, and I think it's so beautiful putting together schemes and so on. So as usual, Five Guard, being our stain-free fabrics, is pushing the boundary by launching two months ago two spectacular collections, and the first one is called Futura. Futura, um, for lack of a better name, is quite futuristic, but it's also a little bit retro. And that's why I love this, this trend so much, is because it's got that throwback look and a proven favorite decade after decade after decade, but this time with better technology, better colors, and much more interesting weaves and textures. So Futura is a contrasting warp and weft weave, um, the contrast being mainly tonal, which is great, adding instant depth and interest to the surface fabric. What I love about it is that it's super chunky, and normally with these sort of weaves is you get, you get something called seam slippage. So seam slippage is a nightmare in fabric world. So this one wouldn't have that because it's got a backing. So super duper useful and great for bigger pieces of furniture because it'll be structurally sound. 28 shades in this collection. And I must say that contrast and these fashion shades specifically are beautiful. I mean, how's that? So there you've got a little bit of an indigo paired up with a beautiful electric purple. As you can see, the handwriting is definitely quite retro-futuristic. You can see this on the Jetson sofa. Um, and I think also what's beautiful about this is the fact that you can put it on a bigger piece of furniture successfully and it wouldn't look overwhelming and will add that extra texture to that big piece of furniture. Um, coming in at 100,000 Martindale rubs and also 60 degree washability, this is bulletproof. And obviously also with the stain free technology, super washable, super easy care, dogs, whatever you want to do, it's great for that. Then another one and probably my favorite from this launch has to be Staunch. And Staunch, as you can see on the visual, beautiful, also retro futuristic with that beautiful multicolor chunky book clay weave. I love the irregular surface of this fabric and what I also love about it is same as with Futura, the fact that it's backed, so great for bigger pieces of furniture. Also coming in with a solid 40,000 Martindale rubs, which is heavy contract grade already. And obviously the fiberglass specifications, so stain free, worry free, and coming in the most incredible, beautiful shades. I mean, that one in particular I think is great. But in terms of shades, I think for me the most useful shade has to be this one here called Fossil because it's basically filling a big problem area that we're finding more and more of now. Everybody's got the grey sofa, everybody's got the grey furniture, but they need something to warm up the space. What's great about this is it's got that icy cold grey that's paired up with warmer beiges and tops. So a great fabric for pulling a scheme together and adding beautiful surface texture and interest. Um, and saying that it's quite textural, as you can see, it's beautiful irregular texture. It is super soft to the touch and great to sit on and easy to live with. So a great collection and definitely a firm favorite for me. Then from Osborne and Little, this collection right here, it's under the Ariande Velvets collection is this design called Leonore. Leonore comes in four shades and aptly named after Beethoven's only opera, um, the lead female who saved her husband by dressing like a man. This one I think would save any scheme that's on its last legs because it adds instant glamour in four beautiful shades ranging from this cool icy blue there you've got a hot, hot burgundy red with a cool silver and then your emerald shade. Um, sumptuous, it's beautiful surface texture and really, really nice to the, to the touch. I think it's great for adding a little bit of texture build up for any scheme. And then last but not least has to be Yang from Cavasso. Cavasso falls under the Jab banner 
And Cavasso, obviously the Dutch masters, because they're Dutch, they do a spectacular job in terms of color selection. But what I love about this is the fact that it's gonna be the yin to your yang for fabric, as it will definitely add a whole lot of beautiful, chunky surface texture to virtually any scheme. Um, this one in particular is extra chunky and comes in the most beautiful pastel shades as you flick through. You can see it's subtle glamour that you can literally just fall into. How's this millennial pink right here? And then you've got a couple more intense colours starting off with the black, the cobalt, and then obviously, I mean, how's that cobalt? Unbelievable. And this collection in particular is also super useful to use as scatters and also upholstery. It passes the grade. It's also washable at 30 degrees with a construction that is a, poly, uh, a polyacrylic and polyamide, which I think is also quite good for this sort of sumptuous texture because you would expect it to be a nightmare to maintain, but it's also washable, which is great. So that's yang, the yin and the yang to your skin. And I think in terms of texture, that's a few of them that I think would be great. I hope this quick overview of Booklays helps you navigate through this ocean of options. And I also hope that it provided you with context when putting together a beautiful tactile scheme. To recap, we had a look at Staunch, Ventura, as well as Ariande Velvets today. If you have any questions, please tweet us at HomeFabricsSA, hashtag HFTrends. If you found this information valuable, please like and share. And then also, please subscribe so you don't miss any future uploads. If you scroll down, you'll see HF in a circle. That is a link to our newsletter where we share valuable information on the regular. With that being said, bye for now.